Hey all you addicts out there, this is Jordan Kanigi with Addicted Fishing. Today we're out here on the trout pond and we're talking fishing cast masters for trout. What you want to start with is your ultralight trout rod. What we have here is a 4 to 10 pound Celilo made by Okuma. Uh, this is a great rod for fishing for trout because it's nice and sensitive so you can cast a long ways but you can also feel these light bites that these trout usually give you. What we have on here is a 2500 Safina Okuma reel. Uh, this is the perfect reel because it holds quite a bit of line using this light pound test. Today we have 8 pound test on here which is, which is perfect. You want a nice light monofilament so that these trout can't see your line. What we're going to do here is we're going to grab our cast master and this is what a cast master is. It's a nice little steel blade, about a quarter ounce heavy, maybe a half ounce at times, depending on the size. And these work great because you can cast them a long ways. It's not just an ironic name. These we actually don't use a swivel for because you want the action of the spoon flying around while you're reeling it in. And we're gonna be using quite a jerky motion doing it. So we're gonna tie this right on to our line here. We have our eight pound test main line right to the spoon. I'm gonna put it right through the eye here. Do your typical clinch knot. I'm going to spin it six or seven times here. Put it right back through the eye and pull it tight. And we're ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cast this out into the water and show you the action that you want when you're reeling this in because that's very important with these cast masters. They're a very specific lure and they need a good presentation in order to work. So what you want is a very sporadic action on this spoon and I'll show you right here in the water. I'm going to cast out and do this but I'll show you in close so you can see the rhythm that I'm talking about. What you want is for this spoon to jump up and down. As you reel in you're going to be lifting your rod tip about three feet each time so that it does this spinny dying motion as it goes through the water and that's what's going to entice those trout to chase it down and bite it. What we're going to do here, these are called cast masters for a reason, we're going to cast it as far out into the lake as we can and then immediately start reeling it back. Just like that. So I'm going to reel and lift about three feet each time in between each reel. See how I'm reeling about three times and lifting three feet sporadically in between. And why we do this is so it doesn't hit the bottom of the lake and get snagged, but it also creates that rising and falling motion that those trout really like. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope this helped you learn a little bit more about how to fish these cast masters for trout. It's one of my very favorite lures and it's caught a lot of big trout in its day. If you like this video, be sure to go to our page and subscribe so you can see more. And be sure to like and share and we'll see you guys out there on the water.